There is a massive opportunity brewing for Chinese EV stocks in a market that is currently completely untouched globally. Yes, you heard that right. The flying car is back, and this is going to be China's spearhead for technological innovation and global dominance in a market that can solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. Let me explain exactly why that is the case, along with understanding how Xpeng Motors is leading this charge of the flying car industry and how that could benefit you as an investor. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So to start things off, let's understand what the flying car is, what state it is at right now, and what is its actual value proposition for consumers? Because obviously, flying cars can be extremely dangerous if put under the wrong hands. Basically, Xpeng Motors, which is a Chinese EV automaker, has a subsidiary called Xpeng Aerohat, which is designed to do R&D on flying car technology, including short-term drone-based applications. And as you can see right now, just a few months ago, they revealed their very first X3 flying car prototype, which is by far the most realistic flying car I have ever seen. And unlike a lot of the concepts and out-of-the-world designs we've seen for so many years at auto shows, this design actually looks feasible because it has a real car chassis attached to a bunch of blades that can officially fold in when you want to go into consumer driving mode. And although many people will be completely against adoption of flying cars in any sort of way, I think this is the next big technology for automation and electric transportation because traffic is becoming a huge problem. We need to realize the fact that the earth has limited amount of space. We have limited amount of real estate that we can build highways and streets on. And the population of the world is growing every single year by around 1%. That is obviously going to put us on a trajectory where traffic congestion is only going to get worse. Despite investments, despite infrastructure build out, traffic in so many countries across the world is only getting worse. And the only real solution to solving this is using vehicles that can fly to local distances and across urban neighborhoods. And that is exactly what Xpeng's flying car is meant to be. This flying car is not meant to be for your average 16 year old who just got their first license and want a car that is extremely expensive. This is supposed to be a vehicle for extremely special applications like hospitality or consumer related applications for airliners who want their customers to be at the right place at the right time as fast as possible. These are also meant for critical applications where you need to transport people despite the massive traffic congestion that a city might be experiencing like New York. And yeah, although that would mean that this technology would likely be reserved only for the extra wealthy, I don't think that is too much of a bad thing. Just like private jets and yachts are typically reserved for the extra wealthy, those companies that sell those products still make a lot of revenue and a lot of profits year on year. Because obviously every single year, more and more people become millionaires and the wealth of the overall world tends to increase. And chances are that the extra wealthy people also tend to have the right resources and the right people at hand to be able to operate a vehicle like this safely, which is obviously what we want to see with an early adoption of such a rampant technology. And guess what? Just like we've seen the market for drones from companies like DJI become so niche, this market will also stay niche just like that because obviously the technology is super advanced, the costs are high, and the applications and technological know-how for most people to operate these is going to be very low. And so for me, in the long term, I am not concerned about this technology causing mayhem and being a big safety issue. Just like we figured out how private jets are going to work, yachts are going to work, drones are going to work, the government organizations in America are going to figure out a way to make flying cars an effective and safe solution for those mission critical applications that truly need it. Because of this extremely unique value proposition, the flying car market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 58% until 2040, when it could be worth north of $1.5 trillion. This means that just by a 2025 alone, a mere three to four years out, the global market for flying cars could generate revenue north of $15 billion, which means the companies that are taking place in this market today 
and are innovating at a high level are the ones that are going to be the first and the market leaders for this insanely fast growing sector. And this right here is exactly why I see a big investment opportunity in Chinese EV companies, particularly like Xpeng Motors. This aero hot firm is a subsidiary of Xpeng Motors, which has just demonstrated the first flying car to the entire world. And if the cost of this vehicle estimated at 140K is true, then this is actually going to be the next big revolution for the transportation industry, because obviously the cost is very low for the opportunity and value proposition that this vehicle would provide. Now, obviously, in the very long term for mass adoption, there is a lot of regulatory problems we need to face. But for the short term, at least, where we have mission critical applications being tested by flying cars and obviously the ultra wealthy adopting them to be at the right place at the right time, that's where the market opportunity truly exists right now for a company like Xpeng. As a matter of fact, a company by the name of Jobby Aviation has just unveiled that they have made it 50% of the way there with the FAA in their aircraft type certification program. Jobby Aviation is a company that essentially develops these drones that can carry passengers and people long distances. And the FAA has already told them that at least 50% of the technology within this vehicle is legal and that that could allow this company to actually sell this vehicle in the mass market. And obviously that would be huge for a company like Xpeng, which is obviously developing more of a flying car rather than a flying drone. And even big corporations like Delta and United Airlines have partnered with companies like Jobby Aviation to provide home to airport transportation, which is obviously creating this really niche market for this technology, even though we are not yet there to that mass adoption stage which is exactly the kind of investment opportunity that is lying in this for the next decade. And right now, Xpeng subsidiary Aerohot not only has a solution for the flying car, but they also have a solution for the flying taxi, which could be used by corporations in big fleets to transport their customers to the right places at a very fast pace, avoiding a lot of the hectic traffic that big cities like San Francisco, LA and New York face. Obviously, guys, that is just my take on the situation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And do you think this is actually an investment opportunity this decade?